Okay guys, JJ's Transformer Reviews here, and today we are reviewing my LEGO Transformers uh, G1 Transformers the movie Hot Rod Mini. So yeah, this guy is very small. Like, if I have a minifigure, um, might have a minifigure, just give me a second. So here's kind of a taken apart custom scarecrow. That's a minifigure. That is a minifigure compared to him. He's tiny. Um, so yeah. Overall, he's fairly cool. Um, and I actually did just watch for the first time, first time, the Transformers the movie yesterday. So yeah, that was cool. Um, it's probably one of the more significant things I did yesterday. I watched the only Transformers movie I had not watched yet, which is that one. So yeah, I mean, I felt this guy before the move before I watched the movie, but yeah, um, I built this guy while I was sick. I'm still kind of sick from like a cold, but I also built this guy that time. And yeah, you just simply compare. Menasaur compared to him. Here he is. It's like he's small. It's like Menasaur is like massive compared to him. Oops, I accidentally put him over here. Oops. Okay. So now to transform it, it's very simple. You fold the like things around and everything. You just kind of fold them around. Then you're just gonna kind of fold his spoiler section around. Fold his head around, which is just the front of the car, until everything slots into place, okay, you actually fold them like this, and boom, there you got the miniature, transform the Transformers, the movie, Hot Rod, from G1, very, very small, but very cool, at the same time, so I mean, yeah, his spoiler ends up on his back, he has the these pieces. Now, I did try to make the arms better, because that is not good. So you kind of just have to leave them straight. did try, but it ended up ruining the vehicle mode a lot. So I decided just to, since a lot of times I'd probably already want it just like this anyways, I just decided to do this. Now, I did originally build him a mini matrix, but um, there's really no use considering he can't really store it anywhere. It's just something extra that you have to deal with. Now, bringing back in Menasaur, still very much massive. He's not even as big as his leg. It's like, yeah, Menasaur's humongous. I mean, it's like... It's like, yeah, I mean, you, you compare him, it's like... Hot Rod is so small compared to him, it's honestly... Kind of silly. Oh, part of Minosaur's foot fell off. I mean, I might keep Minosaur around. I mean, he really doesn't use up too many of my valuable pieces. It's mostly just a few ball joints, but that's it. He really doesn't use up too many of my valuable pieces. But yeah, so now I'm going to show you how to build him. I'm not going to cut because then I have to go through a whole process of stitching the video together, and I don't want to have to go through that more than I'm already going to have to because I'm filming on another channel. A little bit, I, you know, I already have to edit those videos, so I really, really don't want to. So that is kind of why I'm just not going to cut it. I'm currently taking it apart right now. This won't take me very long if you guys just want to skip forward in the video for a few seconds. I'm sorry, I just, I, we won't think if this was like a five second long video. It's not. Okay, so right now we're just going to go ahead and deal with all this. All these. Okay, so you're going to want to take one of these. You're going to want to take two of these. You're going to need pretty much just yellow, orange, and red pieces, along with a few gray pieces and, like, one blue piece. So then you're just going to want to stick these, just to make a completely flat spoiler, which ends up looking pretty cool. Um, you're also going to just kind of want one of these, just a red piece, just to kind of complete the spoiler. 
for the sides of the vehicle slash the arms, you're just going to want to put together a small silver grill piece with a red piece. Do it again. And then for the front of the car slash the head, you're just going to do this and this. Oops. Yeah, so that's it for the these parts. Um, I have three little sections left to build. Um, so you're just going to take one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. Just kind of, oops, stick the spoiler on. And the rest of it involves these other two sections. So you just want one of these. And just like an orange bracket and then just some yellow studs. They don't have to be, or like these little plates, they don't have to be just like the ones. They can be a too long, so you can just go ahead and stick that there. Actually, no, you don't want to stick these on the front. You want to stick these underneath, I forgot. That actually turns into the chest, so there. There you have most of them. And then for the last small section, you just want to take some brackets. Stick them under. Take a gray piece. Stick it right here. And an orange piece. And then stick it right here. And then just for the arms, just kind of do this and this. And then just kind of fold them up slightly. And there you have them in his vehicle mode again. So, yeah. Overall, very simple. To build this guy's probably my second most simple transformer I've had on this channel. The only one probably simpler was Bone Crusher because he was super simple. I mean, here he is compared to a Studio Series Deluxe figure. That's a deluxe. It's like the small one of the small scales you can get. But yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of short, but I mean, there's really not much to cover. This isn't a very complex anything. I mean, I've done everything I can do, so, I mean, yeah. Yeah, he just disappeared. Bye.